What's going on guys? It's your boy Ty. Today I am coming at you with a brand new five minute review. For those of you that are new here, five minute review is where I give myself just five minutes to review a movie. I'm gonna give all my thoughts, opinions, what I loved, what I hated about it within just that five minute time constraint. There's gonna be a timer on the screen for you guys. Before we get into the review, just wanna give two quick thoughts. First of all, thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. At the time I'm recording this, I'm at like 225, which is literally unbelievable. It's blowing my mind. Thank you guys so much. You guys have no idea how much that means to me, seriously. And the second thing is that I really wanna to try to put out more creative videos, but I just noticed that with this video, four out of my last five videos have been five minute reviews, but there's just been a lot of really crazy movies coming out and they've just been like, rapidly you know releasing so gonna have really good videos coming out probably starting maybe around monday something like that and by the way i hope you guys think these are good videos but i just mean like more creative topics that aren't just five minute reviews all right so the movie that we're going to be reviewing today is wes anderson's asteroid city i've been very excited for this one before i get into the review really quick if you've already seen this movie at the time of you watching this video right now drop your opinions on you know what you thought about it in the comments i reply to pretty much every single comment all right guys i'm wasting too much time thanks for 200 subs let's get right into it all right guys i just got back from the theater timer just started so let's get into this there's no denying that wes anderson is one of the best directors of the 21st century i'm not saying he is the best but you know respectfully he's one of the best one of the greatest see one thing that you could really compliment him on is his consistency as well i feel like he doesn't really you know have that huge miss that's just such a stain on his resume he's consistently put out movies and the the quality has been consistent with that being said i was very excited going into asteroid city because i feel like his past few films have been almost more european based where the french dispatch and grand budapest hotel grand budapest by the way being probably a top 20 favorite film of mine of all time i was just excited to see like an American Western style film that was almost like reminiscent of Radiator Springs. And especially with this whole like alien thing that they teased in the trailers, I was pretty excited. I was very interested. Also kind of just random, but my favorite color is orange. This movie, this movie, you know, looked like it was going to be very orange. It was in like the desert, looked great. Obviously, you know, the cast was going to be there, the design, whatever. But guys, I'm just going to get straight to the point here with three minutes and 45 seconds left. I was extremely disappointed with this movie. I did not think Asteroid City was good. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm not a Wes Anderson hater. He's definitely one of my favorite directors, maybe, you know, top 10, closer to 10. I I just don't know what he was doing with this movie, and it really confuses me because I feel like this was such a layup. This was such like an easy score for him to be like at minimum, like, you know, a seven, you know? You'll see my score after this review is done, after the five minutes. But this is the thing. Let's start off with the good stuff, okay? The constants are there. What do I mean by the constants? The cast, obviously how everything looks, all the shots are great. I love the way that he, his shots are obviously, because everyone says this, it's nothing new. They're all very symmetrical, but also I feel like they're very layered. Like you see the shots where there's people then there's another layer behind them parallel if you were looking at it like from the top of maybe like a house then another layer also parallel to that layer of you know a tree or a cactus because you know we're in the desert i love the way everything looks the color grading is spectacular the outfits the set design it's great the only thing is it's so lacking in the story that it's really hard to appreciate what you're looking at in the first 15 minutes of this movie i was thinking wow, I think this is going to rival Grand Budapest for me because it was like this fresh, you know, atmosphere. You're really getting going in this, you know, this desert. You're kind of like interested in this little small town. But the thing is, once we start introducing new characters, which by the way, there's a ton, well, like all Wes Anderson films, things just get really nonsensical and just don't make any sense. There's basically zero plot to this movie, and it just feels like we're kind of wandering around aimlessly. There's definitely movies where that works, but for this movie, I just, like, guys, I'm just really disappointed. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm sorry if my tone's a little bit off, but I was excited for this for a few months, so it's kind of hard to be, like, super energetic. I mean, the performances are very good, you know, but I feel like a lot of the dialogue is just, 
it's it's trying to be way too complex and like fast it's like okay we're talking we're talking we're talking we're being thema like thematically rich we're like you know talking about all this really deep stuff and it's so quick but the problem with that is that since you can barely even hear what their character like the characters are saying it's almost like you're not able to connect with them which is really unfortunate because that also means that the plot is harder to understand because you barely even know what's going on because you can't tell what they're saying I know there's going to be a bunch of film bros in the comments saying, nah, bro, there's like a lot of themes in here. Like you just wouldn't get it. Guys, I don't care because I just didn't enjoy this movie. Grand Budapest Hotel, like I said, is one of my favorite films. It's on a similar wavelength as this movie, but it's you can tell what they're saying and you understand where the plot's going and there clearly is a plot. This movie has no plot, but in the worst way possible. Guys, with 36 seconds left, all I have to say is that I was really disappointed in this. I've seen it getting a lot of praise, and I'm really unsure why. And Wes, I really don't know what you were doing with this, man. Guys, with 20 seconds left, I just want to end off on one note because I feel like this summarizes it best. As I was walking out of the theater, I held the door open just for these two, we'll just say Doc Martin girls who just, they were in the theater with me, I'm pretty sure. And I heard one of them say to the other as I was walking to my car, with seven seconds left, I'll end off with this. She said, I really love Wes, but I shouldn't be checking my phone to see when the movie's over. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it. I mean, it just sucks because I really didn't want to like hate on this movie. I, I went into this very excited. I'm a Wes Anderson fan. I'm not a stan, but I am a fan. I just don't know what he was doing with this because everything looks so beautiful. Just nothing happens in this movie. And I honestly would even argue that it's not worth going to see this in the theater. Maybe watch it a few years down the line, but guys, I, I really don't know what he was doing. So yeah, with that being said, I'm sorry to, you know, give you guys the bad news. I've been seeing this get a lot of praise, but I mean, yeah, that's going to just do it for today. Guys, thank you again for 200 subscribers. The only reason I'm saying it again is because I actually recorded this intro like three or four hours ago before I saw the movie. So now I'm just appreciating you guys again a few hours later. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if my energy's off. That's honestly just how the movie's making me feel. And I'm not just going to like fake be excited because I really love movies and it does bring me down when a movie that I was excited to see wasn't good and I just didn't enjoy it. I didn't feel anything. I didn't get any emotions pulled out of me. It's just, I don't know. It just kind of sucks. But I mean, I wasn't super anticipated for this, so it's not like killing me or anything, but I don't know, man. That's really all I have to say for today, guys. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I love all you. Please consider subscribing if you like this video. I promise I am, have more personality in other videos, but like I said, this movie dragged me down. So thank you for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.